something new, huh? You know what that means? <laughs> it's a new season. It's a new season. Even though we've changed nothing except the song? Yeah, that's a change. <laughs> okay. So this is what, season four now, right? Or season, <laughs> this season will be four. Four. Number four, man. If you're listening, thank you for being here for four <laughs> long seasons. <laughs> But welcome back to the SNR super early. Not so more occasional, but you gotta pull that out a little bit. Giggity. <laughs> I hate these things. Uh, yeah, this is the super early morning show, and uh, we are your hosts. With hosts. the most. The hosts with the most. Scotts and Randalls. Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do here? Uh, go into the. You want to go through some of the Google Docs? Uh, didn't dude have some? Well, yeah, but I mean, let's do his. Just his. We'll see what the time's like. All right. You got it pulled up? No. Oh. Mm-hmm. So we uh, get questions from a a Fran, a fan, friend, Fran, 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 Franz and Hans. Um, so yeah, we're gonna answer those, and then we might get into some other topics. Crickets. Yeah. Uh, is there a current or a new or current car we can't get in America that you wish you, we could get? Uh, yes. That wood one? The wood one? Mm, um, there's a car like, that was originally made out of wood. Morgan? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. I was thinking of the Gazoo Racing. Uh, Corolla? Uh, it's not the Corolla. It's the other one. Go on with yours. <laughs> I'll look it up. Um, that we can't get in America. That's a Yaris? Yeah. The GR. What was the... Yeah. yeah, the Yaris. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I'm not into the... I'm not into, like, the, the new cars, really. They, they don't really do nothing for me. Yep, that's it. GR Yaris. Yeah. But, I mean, you can find something equivalent to that here in the States, I'm sure. Camaro Z28, baby. We have more fun in that than that. Part. I would rather have that than a <laughs> Z28 Camaro. Do you, you think you'd have more fun in, yes. a, in a beat up Z28 Camaro than that? No, I think that would be more fun. You think so? I think so. Well, you can do so much more with a beat up Z28 Camaro, like, because you wouldn't care about it. Yeah, but that's going to be. I mean, that thing probably handles like it's on rails, and it probably doesn't take much to make it quick. Can it go over jumps? Yes. That's what they use for the rally car. Can it do sick American burnouts? Yes. (laughs) With the front wheels. Uh, Can it grow you a mullet instantly? I don't want a mullet. (laughs) I want no part of a mullet or this dumb trend of having one. You can keep your mullet. Yeah, what's up with that? Everyone's got mullets now. Thanks, Cletus. Trendsetter. <laughs> what old automotive feature do you wish would make a comeback? Pop-up headlights. Yes. Without a doubt. Like <laughs> They're terrible for light. Yeah. <laughs> but you can always upgrade. I'm sure, but you could put LEDs in them. and It still sucks. It's just the placement. Because it's above where you're trying to see instead of pointing straight out. <laughs> Like even with that, matter. even with the LEDs I have, it's I can't see. It's overrated. What scene? Yes. <laughs> okay. But the, the the cars today, like for that car, for instance, the Yaris GR. Yeah. They're all like, they're they're too. They don't have the body lines for pop up headlights. No. So. Still looking at that thing. I like it. 
Yes, pop up headlights. That's you know what feature they could they could have kept back then, which they did. Automatic seat belts. No. They could have kept that. No, I, I hate those that. things. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't like them, so they shouldn't have even uh, been a thing. Shouldn't have carried over. <laughs> what new automotive feature do you find useless or irritating? I don't really. I don't have a, a, a new vehicle, but. Uh, the newest one I did have was that Chrysler 200, and I hated the shifter because it was just a knob. Mm. I like I like to hold something in my hand. It likes to hold knobs. Yeah, I like to pull it back and forth. Uh, I hate how now all of the. Did you even pick up on that? Yeah, I got where you were going with it. Pulling on knobs, playing with knobs, shift. You like shafts. you like knobs. In your mouth. <laughs> uh, Here we go. Here, here comes the the stats on the Yaris GR. No, I was actually going to say my my gripe about new cars. Oh. This was more just for me. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you're taking your 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 focus off the people. You were talking, and I already had in my head what it was I wanted to say. Oh, okay. So all the new cars. And they have that stupid tablet in the dash oh, yeah. that sticks out and is no longer part of the dash. Siri is it's with like, you all the time. I hate it. It's like, if you're going to put a screen in it, put it in the dash. Make it work. It's lazy to just shove it out in the middle of no man's land. One feature I do... Is... He doesn't have a, a question for new features that you do like, but I do like Bluetooth. I can play whatever music I want to play. I don't have to listen to the radio. Like the Santa Fe, it doesn't have Bluetooth or anything. So it's straight radio or CD player. And I don't feel like going in the attic and getting all my old CDs out. So I have to listen to the radio. And it's excruciating. It's like Tool all the time. Because their songs last forever. And they're useless. I mean, you could just take your your phone and listen to that. Yeah, you can't hear it, good. That's what I do in the work van. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get that. Uh, if it's, it's, it sounds like crap. I don't want to listen to it. I'm spoiled. It's not really. Like, the truck had that nice Bose sound uh, system, and it had Bluetooth CD player in it. But I'm not. I'm, I'm banned from driving that. No reason. Just the wife wants to drive that now instead of Santa Fe. <laughs> and happy wife, happy life. There right? you go. Is that it? Mm, no. Oh, okay. uh, what automotive brand do you feel has the highest loyalty amounts? Buyers. Uh, what? <laughs> Worded a little weird. What automotive brand do you feel has the highest Boy. amount of loyalty? Oh, okay. Buy it from the buyers? I don't know. Uh, mm, that's tough. You can see there's Ford or Chevy. I'm going to say Ford think so yeah i'd say it's 50 50 because it's like it's always a it's always a battle ford or chevy found on road dead fix or repair daily yeah what's chevy what are some of the chevy ones uh what is it cracked head i can't remember there's a big long <laughs> one that not as fun to say as a Ford one. Sometimes. No, it's too early. What automotive brand has the worst owners? Ford. <laughs> Subaru. I don't know. Ford's pretty bad. Uh, Subaru. Mustang owners drive me nuts. Yeah. Well, they. I mean, they don't really drive me nuts, but they uh, kill people. They run people over. So, that's a big... It's a big <laughs> check in their corner. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any signature foods you like to cook or make? No, I'm not a good cook. You still got that skillet that dude got you last year? Cast iron? Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. I'm getting better at it. Yeah. It's only taking a year. 
Yes. <laughs> Starting to get better. <laughs> Starting to get better. Not better yet. I but. made some nachos, some chicken nachos the other night. I I don't know. I got roped into it somehow. I texted Christina. I said, you know what? We should have nachos tonight for dinner. She's like, okay. So I just, first nacho recipe I found. I didn't even look at it. sent it to her. She's like, okay, we need this, this, and this. I'm like, all right, I'll stop the store on the way home. And then I had to make them. I usually cook most of the time. Really? I don't. But I'm, I'm a disaster. I just make a huge mess. and That's me. Yeah. But they keep eating it, so. Chicken nuggets. Pretty easy to make. So I'm in the air fryer, you're good to go. All right, that's all the questions there. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, you can post them in the comments on the YouTube video or send us a DM on the Instagrams or wherever you may be looking at this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can send... Can you send messages on... Like podcast apps? I don't know, because it's probably not because it's so vast since it puts it on so many platforms. Mm. So, uh, we're pretty nostalgic here at the SNR Motoring uh, <laughs> podcast garage thing. We like old stuff. So what, this, you, you posted this, what trend would you want to come back? I thought long and hard about this. And it was like, me and Christina came to the conclusion that if it's a trend, we probably don't want it to come back because it, it died for a reason. Mm. But I found one. Dig, okay. I dug deep. Okay, go ahead. I don't know if it's so much a trend, but like... We're talking automotive trend here, right? Uh, you just said trend. Oh, okay. So it's life. A life trend. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm going on the motor. <laughs> so, right. Go ahead. Uh, high school bands. Like, do they have high school bands anymore? Like, I mean, obviously there's no place. There's no, at least around here, there's no music venues anymore, really. Probably not. But, but like that feeling of like camaraderie. Dumb shows like The Voice and American Idol probably killed a lot yeah. of them. But yeah, that feeling of camaraderie and like high school bands, that was so much fun. I, can't, I consider that a trend because it's dead. Now, there's mu no music scene in Myrtle Beach anymore. It's just a bar scene. The scene kids grew up and started drinking beer <laughs> or started eating leaves. I still can't think of anything. I mean, you came up with it. I know. But I was just like randomly in the van coming up with no. stuff and I threw it on there. So that, that it's brings. It's not like I had one in mind. Brings up another topic. Okay. Stuff we thought was awesome as kids, but that won't be around at, for our kids. It's kind of sad in a way. Like gas cars. Yeah. It'll all be EVs. Yeah. But like, like Friday night at Blockbuster, they'll never get to experience that. Everything's streaming. Mm -hmm. Shit, we used to do that in college. <laughs> we used to spend hours in, in Blockbuster trying to find the worst horror movie possible. Pogs. Ugh, you can keep those. Th really? I hated Pogs. They were like, so dumb. No, I loved that. The Big Slammer. That would... You just had to like drop from a couple inches high and they would all go everywhere. They got banned from Forest Brook because kids were fighting over him. Yeah, it was a big deal. Yeah. Like you even said the word pog. Yeah. <laughs> they would lock you up and carry you away. <laughs> Gestapo would get you. None. I still can't think of anything. God, you're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. It was a long night. Uh, albums you can listen to without skipping any songs. Mm, there's a couple of them. 
Take this to your grave, Fallout Boy. Mm. Start to finish. I can't do start to finish. No, not on that one. No, the end gets kind of mm. uh, boring. Um, through being cool saves the day. Anything saves the day. It's, <laughs> it's good from beginning to end. Not their new stuff. What happened to his voice? I didn't even... <laughs> Have you heard? Have you listened to recent Saves Today? No, I think the last album I listened to was like Sound the Alarm. It's uh, and I love Sound the Alarm. Yeah, uh, his voice sounds nothing like it used to. It sounds like a sounds like he's trying way too hard. Oh, uh, it's like, not all nasally and whiny. It's more nasally and whiny. Jeez, I didn't think that yeah. was possible. But it, 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 he. Before, like on through being cool, he was just like high pitched. He had a high pitched voice. Yeah. But now it's just like, I don't know. He changed up his singing style or something. It's not, it's not good. Not a good look. <laughs> Train Wreck by Boys Night Out. I don't think I've ever listened to yes, it. Yes, you have. Beginning to end. I can't remember. Oh, you can't. You have to listen to it beginning. It tells a story. It's like, Guy kills his wife. So good. Okay, I'll go back and listen to it then. Yeah, you have to listen to it start to finish, or it's not even worth it. Mm. Foo Fighters, Color and Shape was really good. Yeah, that, from beginning yeah, to end. Yeah, that was like that's like top five. Yeah. Uh, Poison the Well. Opposite of December, yeah, mm-hmm. that's a really good album, from beginning to end. Yeah, that 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 thing, it's really that first song though. like gets you pumped. Yeah, <laughs> like you just like start wanna wanna just start like wreaking havoc, <laughs> <laughs> punching people. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Mm. Jeez, I can't think of it now. So on the topic of music, I'm going to go into this one. How would you bring the world together? And it doesn't have to be all serious. It can be... Uh, Shadows of Security. Remember, I can never one. really get into them. As I Lay Dying. Callow loves them. Like, I mean, one song here and there, yeah. But I don't think I could sit down and listen to them. That CD, that album is awesome. And like, every time we get in the car, Callow's like... So if you're, I want to hear the boy metal. <laughs> if you're listening to this or watching this, and you never heard of these bands, I encourage you to go check them out because that's another thing. Like that, I wish would come back. I mean, I'm not really searching for new music or anything now, but the lyrics from these bands and stuff, they actually mean something. Like. And you can relate to them, but, but the new stuff that's out, that kid, like my niece, Jesslyn, she listens to like Cardi B, and I'm like, so disgusted by that. <laughs> I, I bust her chops all the time. I'm like, what are you listening to, that Cardi B shit? <laughs> like, come on, like, what are you doing? <laughs> there's so much more, there, there's so many, so much more to music than that horrible garbage I think well everything you hear on the radio is just overproduced garbage it's just like yeah like what happened to this? I mean I'm sure I mean like Bad Religion they're still pushing out albums but it's I mean how much how long can you listen to the anti-government like stuff it's like alright dudes no Bad Religion can keep making albums forever and they'll always be good Hang it up, boys. No. <laughs> Just keep playing your old stuff. No. No. Keep making new stuff. It's good. Like Propagandi. Propagandi's albums, everyone is... The next one they put out is better than the last one. I haven't listened to it. Like I said, I'm not searching for anything new. That's just how life happens. Mm. And listen to Propagandi. Yeah. Any, any of the bands that we have listed here today... Write, so. jot them down, <laughs> or tell, say, "Okay, Google, 
Paula boy, take this to your grave. Don't listen to any of the other CDs by them, by the way, because they're all horrible, except for that one. I said it. I won't argue with you. How would you bring the world together? It doesn't have to be like... First thing, I get rid of Facebook. That's a good one. We'll be posting this on Facebook. <laughs> Not really. I would make everybody listen to ska music. Have you ever been mad or angry listening to ska music? <laughs> so I know you don't listen to any uh, spoken word stuff. No. But Henry Rollins does some awesome spoken words. And he had one where the same exact question. And it was give everyone Ramones albums. Yeah. So like in this area, drop off a certain Ramones album. Yeah, I'm telling Somewhere you. Somewhere right? else, drop off another Ramones album. Mm-hmm. And then once you know they figure out both sides like the Ramones, they'll come together. Yeah. Because how can you dislike anyone who... That's exactly right. Ramones? Yes. Because all I think about is like sniffing glue and... Spider-Man. Spider-Man and... You can't hate the Ramones. The Ramones are great. lobotomies and pet cemetery. Yeah. Hey ho, let's go. KKK took my baby away. We can't say that. Why? Because it's not woke. I don't care. <laughs> not woke. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and and pit rules apply. If you fall down, pick them up. Yeah. It's easy as that, man. Like that's the the solution. The Ramones. The Ramones or ska music? Agreed. Here, here. Like Real Big Fish. Like, can't be angry listening to Real Big Fish. Beer? Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> and all the. I still like all their albums. They're still good. Yeah. That's another one. Uh, why do they rock so hard from beginning to end? I can listen to that and it's. No, we. Uh, the good. Blue Album. Weezer. I want to say yes, but like the last song is like 20 minutes long yeah. and it's just like, okay, boys, we got it. Let's <laughs> shut it down. Yeah. That's all I got. That's a good one. Feel. All right. We're at the 23 minute mark. It's usually our. You want to call it? Yeah. It's okay. usually our time limit because then after this point, we're just like, duh. <laughs> so thanks for listening and thanks for watching hey if you're cold we have hoodies for sale on our website snrmotoring.com I still have to make you one yes I know <laughs> I bought some more vinyl so I'll, I'll get to that not like we really need one today I don't know I'm wearing one it's a mistake because I'm sweating it's like 60s out right now in December. It was nice yesterday. Damn climate change. Because all global the, warming. Because all the gas cars. <sighs> all the old 90s. Because of all the uh, poop boxes. All the uh, man-made fires in California. And Brazil. Yeah. Brasilia, Brazil. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Bye, folks. We love you. you.